Hey fam, welcome back to another Chaiko Fam adventure. Today we're in Asakusa. So, come along. So we just arrived here in Asakusa, which is a historic, vibrant neighborhood right in the heart of Tokyo. It's known for its unique blend of traditional and modern cultures, lots of cool retro charm, and it's definitely a must visit if you want to experience true Japanese culture. But first things first, we're going to go find some food. We've got some hungry tummies to fill and we really need to restore our energy. And since we're here in the summer, we're looking for something refreshing to pull us off right before we walk around and explore more of the area. All right, at least it's shaded here a little bit. Hey mom. What? Someone just fell in there. Where? In there. What the? <laughs> I don't know what's the difference between the light and the light one. She said with milk, she has more of a creamy. This one's just plain. That's Japanese black. So we're here at Awadia in Asakusa. We were looking really hard for a cold soba noodle place and it's perfect on a hot summer day like today. And here we were reading on the menu that you have to eat it really fast in order to enjoy the really good subtle flavor of it because they make it handmade. <laughs> Kona's excited. His first time trying the cold soba. Wow, look at Kona eating it. So cute. Here, let's put it closer to you. <laughs> So far, <laughs> how's the temperature? Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. I love the cold soda. It's refreshing on a hot day like this. So good. The noodles are low firm. It has that refreshing taste to it. And we have the option to eat it with wasabi. I tried both. I prefer it with wasabi and the green onions. Finish it off with the tempura shrimp. Perfect combination. Hands down. Here we go. So we dip it in the cold sauce. Oh, I don't know why I blew it. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, the quality of the noodles, definitely, definitely good. Chewy, tender, and you gotta eat it really fast in order to savor the quality of the noodles. Don't let it just sit there. I'm gonna try the tempura. Oh man, this looks good. Mmm, mmm. Oh my gosh, so good. It's like perfectly crunchy. One of my favorites. A must try in Asakusa. So Tai, how is the, the warm soba? It's alright. It's good? The cold one tastes better. You like the cold one? They gave us this broth and we weren't sure what you're supposed to do with this. Did you point to that to put it in there? Oh, it turns into like a broth. Ah. Like a soup. Ah. Okay. Nice. Either that or you use it to wash your hands. I know, I wasn't sure. <laughs> This is the one that we got right here. It's like a green noodle. Yeah. So these are tempura. Yeah. And they're also fake. There's uh, these things, they're like handmade. Yeah. To look good. Why do you think they make fake food? Because real food would like, like, you have to, you have to keep replacing them. You yeah. probably spoil, right? Does it look pretty real? Yeah. Fake real food. Yeah. <laughs> really fake. Impressive. Yeah. This is actually the town where they made the fake food. Awesome. Check it out. Wow. Ooh, look at that. These are croissants. You can smell it. Oh, it's filled inside. You see it? All right. So this is supposed to be the number one apple pie in the world, guys. According to Marco Polo Molinari. Number one chef. Got the chocolate. Ooh. So you can really taste the apple that's within this gelato and this. Is it warm too? Yeah. Not warm, but it's really fresh. <laughs> it's just a croissant apple. I, I don't know. <laughs> Jerry told me they also had a matcha one. You can try the icing first. Mmm. Mmm. 
Oh, it's like an apple gelato. I thought it was vanilla with like apple chunks, but it's straight up apple gelato. It's good. Mmm. Yeah, you could definitely taste a lot of apple flavor in this whole little thing here. <laughs> Oishi. <laughs> apple gelato. It's like, uh, remember the apple pear popsicle? <laughs> Why are you always like that when you eat? <laughs> Kona makes like the funniest faces like he's mad. Do it like disgusted, but then he ends up liking it. Check it out, you can see Tokyo Sky Tree from here. Look at that. So cool. <laughs> Look at it, we found some cute like little dog toys. They got like a lot of dog stuff. Cute colors. I was thinking this would have been cute for, for Sarge, <laughs> but he would definitely tear this up. Can you imagine putting this on Sarge? That would be so cute. Oh my god, look at they even have big size kimono. Oh, so cute. I love it. Adorable. Look at those dogs right there. So cute. Oh my god. If I had like a little tiny dog, I would love to dress him up. <laughs> Unfortunately, Sarge is not a tiny dog. Can you imagine Sarge putting like a little kimono on him? <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna just tear that off. <laughs> yeah, it looked like a super. Yeah, it looked like a super. Oh, that'd be kind of cute too. <laughs> so there's like so many um, souvenir shops that you could shop here for food, souvenir food. It's a lot, so I could see why this is like one of the number one places to visit for tourists. But it's a lot of fun. So it's actually we're on the way to the temple, Sensoji Temple. There's a lot of good goodies here, man. Stickers. We're always looking for stickers so we can put on our luggage, and we found some. This is the perfect spot. All right, so let's pick a sticker, guys, for our luggage. The ninja star. The ninja star. We're reading something just that says like Japan on it. So many cute trinkets. Look at all this. We are here at the Ozumon Gate where you see the two guardian statues guarding this temple which we're about to go see past these gates. Oh, look at these girls, so cute. Wow, look at this. This is amazing. I love the really bright, bright red and then it's just, it, the, the size of it just makes it seem so majestic and grand. Super cool. All right, so we're making our way in here. Okay, it's 100 yen. You demonstrate. Okay, put one in here. Shake it, right? Get this. Get one. Whichever one comes out. What does it say? It's seven and ten, seventy. So the one that looks like um, right here. Seven, six. Found it. <laughs> All right, so we put it back in. We put it, okay. And this is my paper. And I probably, oh, here you go. If you are sincere and honest, your desire will be successful by blessing. <laughs> If you drew a bad one, see it says bad fortune. You gotta roll it up and then put it here. Ah, okay. I got a bad fortune. <laughs> I got one too. You do too. Oh no, but I got a bad fortune. <laughs> Tie it up so you don't get bad luck. <laughs> bad meaning good. So you got the good one. My bad luck, a fortune away. It got windier, like <laughs> enlightened. So pretty here. Okay. 
purify. It's good for purifying the soul. Ooh, it's, it's like a sauna here. Yeah, it's like a sauna. Alright, that was a fun little little activity for the kids to try out. We did the little fortune uh, mikuji. So yeah, that was pretty funny that Sherry and Kona got the bad luck, bad fortune. <laughs> but right now we're just coming upon the Senzoji temple. For a weekend, it's worth the stop if you guys want to go shopping, check out the temple, you guys want to go eat. So it's multiple purposes and learn also the history of Japan. Well worth it to see all of these like beautiful temples. I love it. gotta stop by here there's just so many cool like things to look at and take pictures um shave ice you guys Ooh. okay i want some wait what's the flavor take the lemon Oh, you, uh, you want one, Connor? Get yeah. one, um, get one. Lemon? Yeah. What's the one? Lemon. Lemon. Yeah. Lemon. You could even add condensed milk, What's Jerry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what flavor do you want, man? I'll have the peach. Peach? Yeah. I think I'll try to boil Hawaii. Can we add condensed milk also? Condensed milk? Yeah. Shaved ice. Ooh, look at that. Refreshing Kona? Yeah. Oh my god, look at it. You're almost done. How was it? I'm just holding your garbage. <laughs> what flavor did you get? It's melon with condensed milk. Ooh, so yeah. Ty's almost done. And oh, I got the one, the peach with the um, condensed milk. Peach is such a like Japanese like familiar flavor. Mmm. It was really good with the condensed milk. So refreshing. So we're gonna see what else we could find to eat. <laughs> More food. So we got some of those. Look at that. <laughs> one more. One more. <laughs> more. Alright, let's go find a spot. Mm. Yummy. Pretty good. Ooh, I'm gonna have this one. Alright. Octopus. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Mm. It's like crunchy. I've always been trying to look for this. Finally found it. Yeah. Now I could check it off the bucket list. Very good. Mm. This is a big healthy meat of, of squid or octopus. I don't know which one this is. Is this squid? I think it's squid, yeah. Large squid. It's good. Japanese street food. The sun is finally kind of going down, it's cooling off, and uh, we actually just walked past this street on the outskirts of the, the shrine area, and um, there's a lot of like food, like outdoor food eateries, it reminds me of like um, Vietnam, like you know how you have all the outdoor seating, but over here you're not sitting on stools, you're actually sitting on regular decent sized chairs. <laughs> Pretty cool spot. And we kind of just kind of walked through there and we're like, wow. This is like a cool place to be. But we're, we're kind of hot from being out all day, so, and we've been eating. <laughs> so maybe next time, Japan. I'm gonna get my dongle. Okay, I just wanna see what they have. Someone oh, almost broke my dongle. Yeah. All right, we get the dongle. It's been a while. Rona, you wanna try? It tastes like the sobas thing. Yeah. You wanna try the whole thing? No. Right. You can have it. <laughs> What's up? 
last time we had this was in Osaka. Do you guys remember when we had our Osaka street food? Mmm. Like dango with um, mochi with teriyaki sauce. Good. Looks like they have other flavors too. But this one's my favorite. Sweet and savory. Mmm. Very good. Oishi. This is the one that Papa always wears around the house. All oh, 550. Might be for sale. Or I don't know. I feel like they might be like used or something, but like I think it's for sale. Because I saw one with a stain, so <laughs> Daddy wants to be like Papa, wants to wear a kimono around the house like Papa. That's the boss thing to do. I don't even know if this would fit me though. Oh yeah, that looks small. Yeah. That looks small. These are pretty though. <laughs> it's probably like previously used, that's why it's cheap. Maybe. So that means we gotta look for the stain remover. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a stain remover that we're looking for and it's always sold out. Normally like here in the summer, um, they wear the yukatas and it's really cute how they're just like walking around in them last time i was here was like 20 years ago um i i did like a summer program here and i remember i got to wear them like with some of my japanese friends and we just got went to the little summer festivals and you just walk around in your kimono and this is what reminds me of just like shopping around for all the cool kimonos daddy wants to get one are those for girls um, How can you tell if it's for men or for Usually like the dark colors, like the blue and gray. Yeah. The bright colors women wear. Oh. Okay. So Marion found her matcha ice cream. It's really dark green, guys. <laughs> Look how pure dark this is. And it really does taste like green tea, like the bitter kind. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I know they won't like it for sure. I mean, I like it because I like green tea, but this is definitely like the real much. <laughs> I was tempted to try it, but I was like, forget it. Well, you won't like this. This will turn you off. <laughs> yes. But I like it. Looks like uh, avocado, but not really. Yeah. Okay. This is like pure matcha. Wow, pure guys. Matcha. That's crazy, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, are we ready to go, guys? I think we're getting tired. It's getting hot. Time to rest up. Alright. So we spent our last days in Tokyo pretty much catching up with Jerry's old childhood friend, Mike, from California, a Filipino-American who moved abroad to Japan, and we met his lovely wife, Anna, finally, and it was so nice catching up with him and seeing Jerry reunite with a homie with Kelly Roots. And of course, we had to have another bowl of authentic Japanese ramen before heading out, so we hung out with Mike again one last time, and he brought us to one of his favorite local spots. Thanks, Mike. See you again next time. Next, we had a little more time to go back to Shibuya once more before hatching our flight. Uh, we definitely had to have fluffy pancakes from Flippers again. You guys gotta check them out. It's really good. They have them all over Japan. So yeah, this is pretty much where the Tokyo vlogs end. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed our day in Asakusa. We'd love to hear from you, so say hello or give us a quick like if you enjoyed this video. And we'll see you guys back in Manila. By the way fam, if you're new to our channel, we are a part-time traveling family from California, now living in the Philippines, choosing Metro Manila as our home base. We vlog about our life abroad, business, food and travel experiences. If you want to learn more about us and why we decided to move abroad to the Philippines, definitely subscribe to our channel and be part of our community. Thanks for tuning in fam. We'll see you on the next vlog.